Hi there, this is David, and welcome back to Let's Play Ease 3 The Oath in Felgana. Last time we got the mighty double jump ability, and uh, we got another statue, so it's time to head on back to Redmont and continue the uh, plot. Oh. Oh, yeah, where is Gardner anyway? Oh, Anya, no. Oh. Huh. I don't know. We'll have to go and uh, talk to her, see what that's all about. Oh, how are you so hungry all the time? Oh, I guess so. A little work will do you good, actually, Duckface. <laughs> At least he knows that he's a blubbery Picard. <laughs> oh. Oh. Yeah, she could probably use a little bit of uh, time off there now that you mention it. No, I haven't. Oh, is she not at home? Huh, I'll have to check in on that too. Yeah, um, you're just kind of a drunken mess. Oh. Oh, oh no, you lost your ring. That's horrible. Huh. Yeah. Reminds me of uh, something else from the first Ease game, actually. Oh. No, actually, I haven't. I'll keep my eyes peeled for it, though. Yeah. Oh. Huh. Yeah, what could have improved her mood? I mean, she was really upset about Chester and everything, and now all of a sudden she's happy? Huh. Okay, well, that's good, I guess. And might as well go around and talk to everybody. Why not? These people actually have decent NPC dialogue, I've got to say, so I don't really mind talking to them. It's not like they just say, Oh, monsters are invading! Or anything like that, or like, You've got to save us! You know, nothing like that. They actually have stories and lives of their own. Who knew? What a concept! So, I like that. I don't mind talking to NPCs when they actually have something interesting to say. Hey there. Oh, that's awful. Oh. Maybe you could just catch a boat or something. The monsters right outside town aren't that strong. Where is your family, anyway? They in Crossbell or something? I don't know. Oh. Huh. Maybe there's more to it than just monsters. Beats me. Anyway, let's go uh, talk to Edgar, see what's going on with him. Oh, Adol! Adol, you made it! Oh, wow, you got uh, rescued from prison. Good for yeah, you. Yeah, just got back from the castle a little while ago. Seems Bishop Nicholas made a good case on his behalf, and the Count saw fit to let him go. Yes, he spoke far kinder things of me than I deserve. I owe him a tremendous debt of gratitude. Unfortunately, Chester was out on an errand for the Count at the time, so no answers were to be had on that front, and the Bishop had no luck finding any information on the statues either, I'm afraid. That is unfortunate. But we shall take the victories we can get. And the bishop is still there, so answers may yet be forthcoming. On another note, how did your investigation of the abandoned mine go at all? Adol recounted all the events that transpired in the abandoned mine and detailed the items he acquired therein. Amazing. You're like a magnet for danger. Hmm. Genos. And Galbalan. I never thought I'd hear that name again, much less in this context. You know what it is, then? It's an old local legend. Long ago, a great and terrible beast known as Galbalan came from across the sea and took control of Felgana. He had the power to transform the people and spirits under his influence into twisted, evil creatures. Or so it goes. But one day, a hero appeared, wielding a mighty sword. He was the warrior, Genos. He borrowed the powers of the gods and fought the beast. And at long last, against insurmountable odds, he won. 
And that's about the extent of what I know, I'm afraid. Legends like that aren't too popular these days. Barely anyone remembers them, <laughs> save for old coots like me. I've certainly never heard it before. That does remind me. I asked Bishop Nicholas earlier if he happened to know the origin of the Ilburn's ruins. Apparently, it used to be a church of sorts, devoted to some long-lost pagan deity. Interesting. Given the circumstances of late, it's not unreasonable to suspect there may be a connection. There's also one more thing that bears mentioning. Out in the Siena Bay, there's an old deserted island we've always known by just one name. Genos Island. There was once a small village there, but it was ravaged and destroyed by disease 12 years ago. What? It happened three years before you arrived, so I'm not surprised you wouldn't know about it. Genos Village never had many dealings with Redmond, and the whole tragedy was so terrible. People rarely discuss it. I don't know much about the disease that killed them all, though, I'm afraid. According to the official statement from Ballastine Castle, it was some sort of extremely severe fever. This doesn't instill a lot of hope. An island named for the hero who defeated Galbalan, totally annihilated. The voice Adel heard is seeming less and less implausible, and more and more frightening. Indeed. Adol, Dogi's gone to speak with his master, Berhardt. Perhaps you should meet with Berhardt as well. He's a rather eccentric man who's chosen a life of near solitude and devoted himself to studying the land's folklore. There's no one in Felgana who'd be more likely to know about Genos, Galvalan, the statues, and maybe even that voice. I believe I'll return to the castle and update Bishop Nicholas on what we've discussed here. If you decide to follow Dogi Adel, I suggest you exercise caution. The Elder Mountains are... Not hospitable. Huh. Well, we need to go over to those Elder Mountains anyway, because that voice told us last time that there's a statue up there. And we have three of the statues out of the total of four, so yeah. We're not exactly 75% done with the game, but eh, we're getting up there. These games are notoriously short. Oh, yeah, your guys are kind of lazy, gotta say. I wonder what Anya's up to. Let's go talk to her. Hey, Mr. Adol, you want to play a game with me? No! You won't play with me? <sighs> but I'm so bored. I hate kids and JRPGs. Hey, Mr. Adol, you want to play a game with me? Really? You'll play? <gasps> You're super awesome, mister! I want to play treasure hunt, except you'll be the hunter, and I'll be the pirate who hid all the booty. Arr! A vast ye scallywag! Me treasure's been hit all across this scurvy town, and you're the only one who can find it. There be four stashes of rich stuff. If you can find them all, you'll be the king of the pirates! <laughs> now go, for I make ye walk the plank! God, I hate you. I just want to punch you into next week. Ugh. Anyway, let's go find all of her, uh, her rich stuff. <laughs> There's the first one. Is Elena here? No, she's not. We'll have to find her as well. Lots of side quests to do today. Let's go inside the church look around. Hey there. Creepy ass sister. It's those eyes. They're just so mournful and red and creepy. Oh, Well, we're not just gonna leave you in prison to rot. I mean, who do you think we are? Oh, come on. Oh, wow, I can't believe I actually made that jump. Okay, there we go. Yeah, you gotta be very careful with this one. Uh, just go a little tiny bit close to it so you don't really have to, like, walk on that ledge right there and then just grab it. Continue down on our way. Here we have another piece of Ravel Ore. Awesome. Wow, these aren't exactly well hidden. Not you! Urgh. Hey, Mr. Adol. There's something I wanted to ask you. My little Pickard buddies have been severely under the weather lately. I looked up their symptoms and it sounds like they got themselves some kind of disease. But how? I mean, I've always pampered them and showered them with love and protection. 
So how come they got sick? They've never gotten sick on my watch before, and certainly not this badly. I think they might even be dying. They just keep getting weaker and weaker. There's an herb called a berm leaf, and that grows in the Elder Mountains. It's supposed to be like a, a Picard cure-all, but it's kind of rare and hard to find. And I'm way too young and fragile to scale those icy monster-infested slopes. I just don't know what to do. What I need is a hero who'll risk it all for great justice and cute Pickards. Well, sucks to be you. Too bad you don't know a hero. Yeah. Sorry, kid. All your Pickards are dead. Yeah, actually I do. I'm stealing them all from Anya, so I'm just going to, uh, sell them to you. Oh. Whoa! One ten thousand gold! Yeah, that's awesome. Sweet! Thanks to you, I think I got all the Ravalor I could ever need! Everybody wins! <laughs> Especially me! And let me tell you, if I can sell all these in Rome, I'll be an unstoppable one-man monopoly! Oh, before I forget, I certainly do owe you for all the help you've given me. Uh, here you go. Consider it a bonus for a job well done. Ooh, the jade ring. Hey, <laughs> nice. It's not immensely valuable, but you should still be able to get a decent price for it if you can find a buyer. Where did it come from, you ask? Oh, <laughs> I'll never tell. Consider it a businessman's prerogative. Just take it and go. Okay. Well, remember that Cynthia says that she's like a connoisseur of jewelry? Let's go, uh, give it to her. Yeah, do you like it? Oh, it's a men's ring. Really? Oh, from Garmin. Huh. Uh, sure. Really? Well, what are you gonna give me? Uh, let me go ahead and save my game real fast right here. And yeah, let's go ahead and give her this G ring. Oh, okay. Well, great. Ooh, and for selling to her, we get an illusion mirror and an amulet. Um, I really kind of don't want to do that, though, so... Let's not sell her the jade ring. Okay. And then now, at this point, if you want to, you can sell her the jade ring again. But, again, I don't want to. As far as equipment is concerned, Welcome. I have plenty of gold. And I can go ahead and buy a banded shield or a banded mail, but I don't want to do that. I actually want to save up money to buy a banded slayer. I will be buying the shield in the mail later on, but... I'm about 5,000 gold away from Don't the Slayer, so I'm going to uh, wait on that real fast. Hey there. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, I haven't really sharpened any of my weapons yet, but we'll have to keep that in mind for later. Oh no, what's that? Oh, huh, the spirits. I didn't realize that they started really talking about spirits in Ease 3. I figured it wasn't until, like... I don't know, E's 5 or 6 that they really started talking about spirits? Who knows? Okay, yeah, I'm done with you. So, remember that Randolph was missing his ring? Yeah, let's give him his ring back. Huh? Oh, hey, Red. Hey, can I see that ring you got there? <laughs> yeah, that's my ring, all right. I'd recognize it anywhere. <laughs> Come on, Red. Help a guy out. Let me have it back, will you? Oh, man. Oh, thank you. I, I seriously owe you one. You're the best, Red. <laughs> In fact, you know what? I've got something I'd like to give you to show my appreciation. Ooh, the talisman of war. Sweet. Now I can go back home to my family and they won't bite my head off. <laughs> All right. I am so ready for anything now. <laughs> OK, well, glad to be of service. And then the last rich stuff we can get is right over her. Um, the Talisman of War, basically it increases, it increases the duration of your boost mode. And it's not an accessory, it's just an item, so it always is in effect. It's very nice. You're in the vest, Mr. Edel. Did you find all of me hidden treasure? <laughs> so what did you think? Was it super tough to find them all? And did I sound like a real pirate? I bet I did. 
So you know what? You can keep it. You did a really good job finding it, so I'm gonna give it to you as a present. I'll see you later, mister, but you gotta come play again real soon, okay? Okay, well thanks. And, uh, let's see, where is Elena? Let's go find out. So what you want to do is warp over to Valestine Castle, and I'll just show this on screen, it's not that far to get to where she actually is. Just head due south, and she's down here at the port that we began the game on. So let's go talk to her. At all? I'm sorry. I knew it was dangerous with all the monsters around, yet I still left the safety of the town unescorted. My brother would always bring me here when I was little. You can look out at the entire Siena Bay from here. Isn't it beautiful? If you look over there, you'll see Genos Island. Supposedly, an ancient tribe used to live there. I don't know what happened to them, but I heard they all died out. Chester used to come here and just sit quietly looking out at the water. And I'd often join him. It was so peaceful. Yet, there was always such sadness in his eyes. Even back then, I could tell he had something on his mind, but I could never bring myself to ask him what it was. So we'd just sit together and watch the water until it got dark. I don't really remember anything from when I was just a little girl. My first real memories are from when Papa first took us in. I don't know where I lived or what kind of people I was with before that. I don't even have any clue as to what would make me forget so much. But I think my brother remembers at least some of it. That's the impression I always got, anyway, whenever we'd sit out here. Sorry, I must be boring you to tears. I should probably get back to town. Would you excuse me, Adol? Adol offered to escort Eleanor safely back to Redmond. Huh? It's still light out, so I should be safe from the monsters. But you won't take no for an answer, will you? If you insist, then I shall humbly accept your offer. Great. They say that like it's a good thing. Thank you, Adol. I'll feel much safer with you. Shall we then? Yes, we shall. And this is an escort mission, just the same way that it was whenever we were escorting Kristoff back to the uh, castle there. So, yeah. It seems like it's much easier this time around, though. Not because she has, like, more HP or anything. She's actually, I feel like she has less HP, to be quite honest with you. But just because you're stronger, so you can kill these enemies much quicker than you could uh, back with Kristoff. So, yeah, just escort her, make sure that she's, yikes, safe, and get away from me! Ugh, yeah, these wolves, they like to, uh come up from you from behind if you let them be. So just be careful. How did you get hit? Ugh, it's these frickin' flowers and their crappy pollen attack or whatever it is that they're doing that really just blasts you and it sucks. But yeah, it's not that hard. And you can continue on to the next screen as long as she's on the same screen with you. If she leaves the screen, like if you leave her behind just a tad bit, then it'll say, oh, you can't leave her behind, and then you, you have to go back and grab her, but uh, she doesn't stay that far behind. So, yeah, let's head on inside. Thank you so much, Adol. For everything. I'd love to stay and chat with you, but I promised Margo I'd help her at the inn. You've got things of your own to take care of anyway. The Elder Mountains, right? The monsters there are particularly vicious, so... Do be careful, okay? Okay. But I still don't want to go there yet. There's some other things that I want to do over in the Tigray Quarry. Let's see if I can... Seriously, game, can I, like, not get there? <laughs> My god! <laughs> like, how many times does it take for me to hit right before I can actually get to the freaking Tigray Quarry? Oh, man. Yeah, anyway... Um, just warp over to the storehouse. Let's see, can I get... Yeah, there we go. And head on one screen over to here. And then what you want to do is just climb up as fast as humanly possible. And then now we can jump on over here. And we can get a jar. Hey, full of uh, 2,000 gold. And that's all we can do here. Next, I want to go over to Ilburn Ruins' top side. And we can get some more treasure. 
This is something that I didn't show off the first time I was here. I mentioned it, but I was so freaking out about falling off this screen that I didn't even want to show you that there was a jar right over here. And we can go ahead and grab that. I'm just avoiding all these monsters. They're so piddly ass right now, I really don't care. And over here, we can get... Hey, another Katal Elixir. Nice! Let's go ahead and uh, use that real fast. Awesome. And uh, yeah, with that, we are pretty much done with everything we can do. All the various side quests and treasure hunting and all that kind of good stuff. So, next time on Let's Play E3 The Oath and Falgana, we're going to be heading on into the Elder Mountains. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe. And have a good day.